Now, as the year's coming to an end, it's been about six months since I started regularly making YouTube videos, like I did back in 2007 and 2008. Instead of just uh, sporadic videos in 2010 and 2009. So, with me moving into politics and all of that crazy shit, I'd like to give some thanks to people who really helped out this process over the years. I think that in making political videos, I made the best decision I ever had in my freaking life here on YouTube. So here's some people that I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank Darth Troller for both trolling, critiquing, constructively I might add, and even making funny jokes in my videos. He's helped me a lot, and he doesn't even realize it just by doing these comments. I really gotta give a shout out to him. Next I gotta give a shout out to State Exempt. Now, state exempt, I owe a lot of thanks to. This guy came to me in a time where I was getting ready for my regents. It was actually the same day I started focusing on my regents, having to pass that shit. And he complimented me a lot on my channel. And in the later part of this process, he was really proactive. And he's still proactive. We still have plans together. And he's really helping the shit out of my channel. Then we have Black Acid Lizard. Same story, man. I gotta give a lot of thanks to this motherfucker. This guy comments on my videos. He even comments on the videos that I mirror from other channels. This guy knows his shit. He has his history. He has the veteran status. This guy is the reason why I'm probably still here on YouTube. Because this guy makes a difference for me. He incentivizes me without knowing it, just by making comments on my videos to keep going. To keep saying my shit. To know that this stuff that I say every single day is going somewhere. And I also gotta give some thanks to... Asymmetrical Warfare. We had a lot of fun in his blog TV a month ago and a while before the Thanksgiving break and I gotta say man those were some good fucking times those were times that I look at now and I think wow I wish I was there this all just incentivizes me knowing that I have some say in this anarchist community to reach that 100 subscriber mark. To you guys, that might be a small thing, but for me, that's... That's my whole entire life right now. I'm not fucking joking. Um, anything else? I could look back at some of my old videos I like. I always like my more recent videos. In the fall, and... You can never go wrong with the shit for my fall, but I like a lot of the shit for my summer, too. I like a lot of my... Something versus something, liberty versus freedom, the implications of stateless societies in real life, and... Anytime I mention an old stateless society or anarchist community, or even something that's current as the stateless society or anarchist community, or even something from the future, that always entertains me every time I critique some mode of writing or get into some new concepts about statism it's always something I find interesting I always look back at those videos and think wow that's how a video for me should feel like it should feel like this shit um yeah That's all I gotta say. I'm really happy with a lot of the shit's happened over the years. I think that... This just makes me want to go that much further in 2012. 
So think of this as a little bit of a celebration for me. Uh, I hope you can hear my voice over this self-composed music. Yes, it's very repetitive, but the software I'm using isn't that complex. Let's break down some of this shit. Okay, so that's all I gotta say here, not a lot, there's a lot of videos in my past that I liked, I feel that much better about any future ideas I could do, any more books I can critique, any more writing that I can put forward for you guys, any new concepts I can deliver, anytime I can get more complex, more theoretical, more deep. I mean, this shit takes me home, man. This right now is today. This is here to stay for today. This whole YouTube struggle. This is part of my current status quo of really trying to not just fit into a clique, but represent an ideology. And hey, whether you like what I've said and think that I'm very insightful to anarchism or that I'm just an idiotic t typical teen who thinks that he's the shit just because he has an ideology that's not very mainstream. I still like what I'm doing now. And I think I'll like it for a very long time. So this is a has been another Mr. Rocka 7 video. I'm Mr. Rocka 7, you can suck my dick.